listen to the sound of the waves. Oh, or even the distant sound of whales. Or even the sound of... <gasps> Pearl. And she has her very own unique sound. And that's because she's a maraca. A type of percussion instrument. If you fancy your own maraca to dance around with, come with me. The secret to this musical instrument is that it's filled with lots of little pebbles. When you shake it, they rattle around and make that sound. First, we're going to need an inflated balloon about this size. This will be the body and it will be filled with little pebbles like these. But you could easily use dried peas or beans instead. Ask an adult to get hold of some for you. You don't need a huge amount to create the maraca sound. <laughs> Roughly about a handful. And here's what you need to do. To make the body of the maraca, cover your balloon with art attack paste, which is made of half water and half glue, and strips of newspaper. Do several coats. Remember to leave the knot uncovered, so when it's dry, you can pop the balloon and pull it out. Using a funnel, which you can make by rolling up and taping a sheet of paper, pour a few pebbles into the ball, then tape up the hole. To make the handle, take a cardboard tube and cut it lengthwise. Roll it up as tightly as you can and tape it firmly. Attach it to the body of the maraca on the taped hole. Use enough tape so that it doesn't move because you'll need the handle to be very strong for when you start all that shaking. Even though it's not quite finished, I just can't resist a little shake. So we've got the body, the handle and the pebbles. I suppose they all work together as a percussion instrument. But for it to be a spectacular percussion instrument, we need to turn it into a work of art. And here's how. Cut out a rectangle of thin cardboard, roughly the same height as the body of the maraca. Now wrap the body with a strip. Draw a line to mark the length you'll need and then cut off the remaining part. With a pencil, draw small tentacles on one of the sides. Then carefully cut them out so they look like this. You may need an adult to help. Position your tentacle rectangle so it lies about halfway down the body and wrap it around. Make sure the tentacles hang down over the handle. When you've done this, tape the rectangle in place. Lastly, take the cardboard you have left over and draw a pair of ears like these. Cut them out and attach them on the maraca to complete your character. Hmm. I wonder if I can invent a couple of other uses for my unfinished maraca. Hmm. It could be a noisy lolly on a stick or even a very small umbrella. Don't worry, it's still a precious maraca. And just to make sure it's tough enough to shake around, it needs to be strengthened and then painted to give it some pizzazz. Using a brush, moisten the little tentacles with plenty of water. Once they've been soaked, using your finger, gently curl them outwards and upwards. Now using cut strips of newspaper, cover the whole piece with Art Attack paste so that your maraca will be very strong and won't break when you start to shake. And make sure you cover underneath as well as the top of your maraca. Once it's completely dry, draw the eyes, nice and big. Now it's time to start painting. Start colouring the handle and the underneath parts first. And give it plenty of time to dry. Then you can hold on to the handle to finish painting the rest of the body pink. Finally, paint the eyes. Now that's what I call pink perfection. To add... To add detail, you could shade the little tentacles and ears, so your maraca looks even more perfect. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Disney Junior shows, click here. To watch more Art Attacks, click here.
Of course, you can subscribe by clicking this button down here. We'll see you soon and stay creative.